Quick, um, I mean, what needs to be said about Quick that has already been said? One of the best players really to ever do it. I'm so happy when they come over here and they throw down. Because I feel like Quick is one of those players I always have to keep reminding people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That character player combination is good, but don't forget about Quick, okay? Period. Yeah. Quick is one of the best to literally ever do it. Well, and people remember, I mean, even when it comes to European Samus's, people usually think of Siski first yeah. lately, but you got to remember, Quick was really one of the first people to put this character on the map, period. That's and right. Definitely showed up last year at LMBM 22. I think he made top 16, if not top 8, or maybe that was Siski. Yeah, yes. One of the Samus's, but there were many Samus's that did good that Icy tournament. Icy Miss, she did really well Quick that was one of them. Yeah, Icy Miss did really well, too. But going up against Pillow right now, Lucina Main from, I believe, the Treasure Coast. Okay. I think if I remember looking at their Twitter profile, and I do know that they have earned their way all the way to winner's quarter. So this is going to be a hot set, but particularly one where I know that Quick has got plenty of experience against this character. Yeah, and you can most certainly tell right there. Goes for the slightly charged neutral special, then trying to catch the uh, air dodge mitt, possibly in with F tilt. I think, um, you know, there's like a lot of things with Samus I think people sometimes get real frustrated with. You know, like the charge shot, the camping. I'm saying that kind of loosely, but I mean, the, he the people. He did make air quotes. You couldn't see it, but. That, that's right. You know, <laughs> I, I think the, the woke people know that Samus's uh, tilt is what makes her very, very dangerous up close. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Good oh lord. Goodness. And going for the tech chases on the platform, but Pillow knows that the roll away you can get out of that range, you can at least. Give yourself a little bit of space to work with against Quick, and it's c commanding that mid range that's normally so difficult against Samus. But Lucina is a character that can do that because her movement between the ground and the air—they're both very fluid, and you can absolutely find moments where if your opponent's out of position, you can start up some nasty punishes. But speaking of one, Whoa. that pivot grab looked nice. Yeah, they knew. One step ahead on some Doctor Strange stuff right there catches <laughs> the pivot grab, and Quick right now, very good position. I love the neutral special just right at the ledge. Lucina, of course, we know. Uh, Martha Lucina's up special. Uh, I think Invincible on startup, pretty damn fast too. Kind of hard to get out there and trade with it. Um, I believe Samus has like up air, which is the legs are disjointed, so you can't go for a trade, but that's like after up B already comes out. So what do you do? Wait for them to come back to the ledge because edge guarding isn't working. Go for neutral special, and then possibly try to keep forcing them off stage quick right now. Just looking so damn good here. Now, ledge trapping is definitely the name of the game once you get the Lucina off stage, and even the corner play can work really well. But we need to see Pillow take advantage of some of that too, because there have been a couple of moments where Quick has been, you know, a little bit aggressive coming out of the corner. And the problem is not that Pillow's not noticing that. I think that Pillow's just not being, mo you know, mobile enough. Is that they're committing the movement pretty early, and that's why Quick is able to get in and get things started. But that dash back right there, creating just enough space to put the Samus in the corner again. Yeah. And let's see if the patient ledge trapping can work out. That's right. Sometimes good things come to those who wait. And nobody waits as good as Samus in Smash history. I'm just going to put it that way, all right? Clean stuff in the corner. I love that short hop for there again. Just the rinse and repeat. No, I'm not going to go off stage and go for an air. I know it can maybe get the job done, but I don't want to even give you the opportunity to KO me. And then, of course, Ooh. give you any sort of momentum. There's the up special, though. Love that. Samus is standing jab. Is that even a true combo? Uh, no, it's no, not. The jab one to jab two is not a true combo. That's true. why you see them use that jab one as a mix-up tool, right? And a lot of people were reacting. Quick almost got something out, but you know, just uh, tried to get a little too saucy. That's right. Sometimes you got to go for what's true and what will work. And it, at the end of the day, it seems to be the neutral special in the corner. Quick in the ledge trapping, getting that job done in a very dominant fashion. Pillow, of course, I don't want to take anything away from him. I think the Lucina is solid. But you have to adjust your combos a little bit, especially those earlier percents on Samus due to her weight and how floaty she is. So once you can kind of adjust a little, a little, a bit more proper up close, you might be able to have a solid footing, I feel like, in this matchup. I, I, I play Lucina online quite a bit. How's that go? And, you know, the way that I approach it is that I people watch when oh. I play Lucina. She's very good at... Uh, she's just such a basic general character that everybody's like, well, I want to do my thing against Lucina, right? I know how she works. Nothing's complicated about that. And I like to sit there and be like, how do you like to play the game? Sure. And then Lucina's very, very good at adapting around that because she can, you know, not the best up close and she can't hit you from very long range, but anything that's considered mid-range, she can be very, very threatening, and sure. especially once you commit to something. And that's why I like to kind of take a step back, you know, sit in the rocking chair and just be like, so how do you like to maneuver around the stage? When are you <laughs> going to be close to me? That's right. Love that. And I guess you're right because Lucina's just standing normals are better than a lot of characters, like half of their toolkit. Like just standing jab, especially with Marth, if spaced properly, but with Lucina in mind, standing jab, down tilt, fall away fair. I mean, even up tilt, like 
Samus, strangely enough, does a lot of floating, of course. I feel like to kind of bait an option out. But if you float just too close to Lucina, she will go for standing jab. And that will be enough right there to put you in a bad spot. Love that. Wow. Great spot dodge. Red the grab. I wonder how much we're going to see Pillow be able to take advantage of that, right? Running up to, uh, to quick and kind of forcing the uh you know the samus options where there might be something that you can hit back right if you can play kind of active defense huh. maybe that can really work and again that's where that kind of people watching comes in you're like okay if i kind of run up to you and i jump in your face but you know i can fast fall back down i can throw up my shield what are you going to try to punish me with and on a stage like battlefield samus can get some crazy combos here but as long as you keep things grounded you won't put yourself in too much danger to get zero to death or anything yeah well and it looks like, you know, Quick is like, look, I'm not trying to deal with any sort of real danger right now. Love that. Gets the late hit right there on the charge. Neutral special. This is just, uh, this is just primetime Samus 101 here, friends, in the chat. You know, you get an opponent, especially of Pillow's caliber, mm -hmm. Lucina in the corner. You know what Lucina can do to Samus if played improperly. Um, and, of course, Quick does not having any of it. Great footwork. Look at, look, look at this. Yeah. Look uh, at this. The grounded game from Quick is just is so good. And, and Samus can command that very easily because you press the B button and you're in control of the grounded game because you can toss that out. You can combo off a bit of the early charges, the mid charges, the late charges, all of it. But, oh, I love the idea by Pillow, but it doesn't work out. Does get the jump back, but this ledge trap has been devilish from Quick, and especially on Battlefield, where you're not able to kind of jump over that platform, get past the Samus. It's really hard to get your way back on stage, which made that escape all the more impressive from Pillow. No, oh, 100% right here, and I, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Understanding, like you said, being caught in the corner is very tough, very oppressive here for Quick. Looks like he's trying to maybe move the match, maybe more towards center stage. But fortunately enough, up special out of shield ends up getting red. Okay, uh, caught back in the corner, forward throw, yes, forward throw is going to get the job done. This time, going to just let the down specials do Ooh. the job for them and then tilting up the forward smash, getting it closed out. And Pillow has been very aggressive, uh, just a little bit too proactive to try to deal with these bombs. And Quick has taken advantage of that really, really well. Gotten big combos off of them, but, um, a lot of kill combos, but also just a lot of residual damage that Pillow's taken from them, right? Getting up right into that one instead of waiting for it to go away, because you're so antsy about getting away from the Samus ledge trap that you end up falling victim to it. And Quick really taking advantage. I mean, living up to the name, that was 98%, and it was not sluggish. I mean, this is definitely stocks done quick if I've ever seen the seen it myself, man. You know, I think Pillow, of course, just really, really needs to, for one, stop getting caught in the corner, which is a task easier said than done, because a lot of stuff that puts on percent for Samus at earlier percent is now the same things that are pushing you, that are still very much utilizing her toolkit, but now they're pushing you into the corner, which is traditionally where Mark and Lucina actually aren't terrible. They don't mind kind of being caught in the corner, just using forward or just to, hey, I'm slicing aggressively back onto the stage, but... Samus is like, yeah, before you even think about going for, like, forward or back on the ledge, you need to figure out how to work around not only my down special, but also charge neutral special. And I just feel like Pillow just can't quite find the answers right there. I, th I think one of the big things they're dealing with, too, you know, playing a floatier character against Samus, and uh, particularly one where you don't have, yeah. I, I don't know, like, super great speed with Lucina. It's yeah. not slow by any means, but you're also not able to just rush down your opponent. I think what Pillow's really struggling with is the fact that Quick has a lot of lingering hitboxes, mm. and that's been able to stuff out a lot of what Pillow wants to do, which is play in that mid-range and kind of deny you from an area. Okay. So we'll instead see the character switch to the Palutena, which is a definitely a much more favorable matchup against Samus. And one, you can start being a little bit more aggressive, getting right up in that Samus's face. But when you want to control that mid-range, now those lingering hitboxes are going to be a little bit less of a problem. That's right. And now you also have the ability to kind of impose your will, but from the opposite side of the room. Kind of like how Quick was. Now, Quick, despite like how, you know, whatever, whatever anybody thinks about Samus, you know, Quick, you know, using the projectile system up close and personal in your face, I think that's more dangerous than, of course, staying far away because now you give your opponent time to counteract it. But I feel like now, you know, Pillow can possibly do the same thing. You have auto reticle, of course, you also have explosive flame too. Doesn't seem to matter because this time making me a liar, actually drifting down off stage and going for Nair. No more down special right there for the neutral special follow-up. I'm just gonna get the job done myself. I, I really like that recognition by Quick too, that Pillow had already grabbed the ledge, was in a re-grab situation, so no invincibility. Yeah. I think the bomb into the Nair would have done it anyways to catch a you know the two-frame ledge grab, but either way, a Quick with a beautiful ledge guard, but Pillow is keeping this one a little bit closer. 86% is already built up on Quick. 
I think the biggest thing that you have to do as a Palu in this matchup, though, is make sure that you can threaten your grounded game by conditioning your opponent to be afraid of those approaching aerials and make sure that you mix in plenty of grabs because yeah. they're not only going to push that Samus into the corner, they're also going to be key to getting a lot of your big follow-ups. That's right, and especially some of those lower percent grabs, too. Like, Samus is off of her feet. You know, she's probably going to try to land with Nair if you're in her face. You can read that, run right up, shield, rinse, and repeat the situation. But back here is getting it done. And like you said, come on, this match feels a little bit more comfortable right here for Pillow. Quick up special out of shield, one of her quickest options, if not her quickest option. And then I, I think maybe down tilt after that, I'm not exactly sure. But up special, of course, is uh, the get off me tool that she needs to get Palutena just off of her tail, man. Oh, man, really nice sequence there from Pillow, too, recognizing that it drifted away from those hitboxes, but was close enough to land that down air. And that is very Louis Money esque, right? When you uh. have an opportunity to land that down air, you absolutely go Ooh. for it. And that, too, very Louis Money esque. That forward smash catching some committal movement from Quick. And Pillow conditioning, it's not just that grounded game, but kind of forcing Quick to feel like he's got to press the advantage a little bit harder, get aggressive, and Pillow's been eating that up. I feel like you're 100% right. Come on. I mean, I feel like there's just so much more at stake with Palutena when you whiff something. You know, you quite don't have that same luxury with Lucina. I mean, of course, don't whiff versus Lucina, but you're not caught in disadvantage quite as often and for as long with Lucina as you are with Palutena, especially off stage too. Lucina gets you caught in the corner. She can swipe a couple times. You air dodge back into the stage. Boom, F smash, boom, down tilt, whatever. Palutena just keeps it going. Run off Nair, like auto reticle, explosive flame. She has options. And Pillow, of course, utilizing them to the best of their ability right here. Quick, really struggling. Uh, Pillow really in control of the game. Like you said, Quick definitely feeling the heat up throw. Strong move. They buffed that quite a couple of times, and it is quite the powerful thing to have in your arsenal now. Bringing it to last stock, and Quick going to have to get that momentum back into his zone unless he is going to go to a game four. But right now it's looking like Pillow is going to send it there. Didn't want to get aggressive, trying to just be a little bit more passive. See if he can get a guaranteed hit to finish off the stock because he doesn't want to take risks. But oh. might have to start going for at least one because Quick is getting things rolling. Oh, and this is such a smart option right here for Quick. Just playing to the, the, the fear. Like, every time they run up and they just go for, like, an uncharged neutral special, just boom, charge, shield, cancel it, just see what they do. It feels like Pillow kind of falls into the trap every time, has slowly but surely chiseled their way back into this. Now he's going to go for the Zare. And, of course, utilizing the short hop fall away Nair right there to keep a Pillow in the corner. You can't jump on top of the platform either while Samus is uh, up underneath you. Up air will catch you. And you don't want to trade with those legs. Them is disjointed. Uh-oh. What are we doing with it? Not anything right now. That floatiness from Samus able to get away from the Palu a little bit more. Charge shot going to make up some space and it's going to combo into a dash attack. It's enough to take it and it's just like you said, Rod. Yeah. We just saw a little bit too much fear from Pillow yeah. in that final game. And it, you know, the, the mid part of that game where they had the lead, they did not know fear. They were playing so well that I mean, Quick was kind of the one on the back foot and trying to figure out how am I going to reverse this momentum? But once he got a couple more hits, once it went to last stock, did see Pillow start to play a little bit too conservatively. No doubt about that. Come on. And I just, you know, I play against a, a fair amount of Samus. You, you know Censored, my roommate, Nebraska. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, Censored plays Samus. Very good Samus. Of course, not quick, but still gets the job done. And it gives me my unfortunate daily Samus fix. <laughs> and one thing I've come to find out is that the fear factor with Samus certainly goes a very long way, like we highlighted just shortly before. Just the run up. Wait, what you gonna do? Nothing? I'm gonna run back out, run run back up again. What you gonna do? Oh, did you do something improper? Here's the grab. You fell right into my trap. Did you air dodge too early? I got the option covers on the ready. And I feel like, you know, if you just run up on Samus, what can she really do up close? I mean, she has, like you said, standing jab, which doesn't chain into itself, but does make for 